This is how you blur anything in Photoscape X. What you'll want to do is you'll want to start by dropping an image into Photoscape X and then going from edit over to the tools section in the far right hand corner. Selecting tools, you'll see the blur option. When you select the blur option, you'll be able to paint whatever you want and it will blur whatever you select. This is super great because not only are you able to paint just what you want, you can also subtract anything that you don't want and you'll have it blurred. You'll be able to adjust the strength higher or lower depending on what you want it to look like and you're able to adjust the brush sizes and the hardness and over in the bottom left hand side you're able to zoom in and make sure you get it looking just the way that you want when you're all done with it you can hit apply and then you're done you're good to go and then if you want another way to blur in photoscape x that gives you some more flexibility what you can do is you can go over to the insert tab in the insert tab there is a section called filterer you click on filterer and you go over to blur in blur it gives you this box or you can even change it to a circle shape if you want and you're able to cover whatever you want to blur in your image the nice thing about this one here is yes you're still able to adjust the strength and all these different adjustments over here but you can of course make multiple circles wherever you want them to be but what's nice is if you end up deciding to save this image as a project file and i made an entire video about saving images as project files when if you save it as a project file and you go back and open that project file later you can still move these around and adjust them down the road where over here in tools when you make that blur change then it's you're kind of stuck that way after you save out the image you're not able to go back and undo it really so that's why using that insert might be really helpful one thing to note about inserting blur into your images is if you're working in the insert tab and let's say you want to put a second image into your photo uh, project that you're working on if you go over here to that blur in the filter and you try to blur it Unfortunately, it doesn't blur that second image. It only will blur the base image. So I cover my face here, I put the blur over, and it's my face because it's only working on the base level of the image. If you want to blur this, you'll have to merge these together into just one photo. The way you do this is up at the top left-hand side in the Layers section, you can just select Merge All Layers, and then this image is now all merged together and when you go over to the filter section and you drop blur in, then you're good to go. Now, one thing that you can do to get around this, if you're like, oh man, but I really actually just want to, uh, you know, blur this second image and I don't want to have to merge it into my other image because then it's stuck there. Um, so what you can do actually, which is really nice, is I would actually just encourage you to right click on your Photoscape X down at the bottom and open a second a tab of Photoscape X. From there, you can drop whatever image you want into your project. You can go and blur whatever you want out of it. And then you're able to uh, right click on that image, hit copy to clipboard. So control C or copy to clipboard. Go back to your original Photoscape X tab, right click, paste, and then you can paste it right in and then it has that blur that you just did and now it's still a second image that you can move around and adjust however you want and when you save it as a project file you'll be able to come back and move it around if you need to make slight adjustments now with that all being said uh, what I would also encourage you to do is let's say you want to remove this background here in this image there are some nice things you're able to do here you could go into the mask feature and you could try to mask out the item here or you could use the cutout tool over here is the cutout tool in Photoscape X and what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop this image in that's been blurred 
I'm going to use the magic eraser and I've made an entire video about how to remove backgrounds in Photoscape X. But if I just click here, I remove the background. I'm able to right click, copy to clipboard, bring it back to the editor and paste it right in. And there I have myself in here and it's blurred. You can do this with any object, anything in a photo and you're able to do it completely in Photoscape X. Now one other way that you can blur your images, you can go over here to the edit tab, just in the edit tab and there is an adjustment section. There's also effects and transformations. Look around in here because there's some really interesting ones, uh, things like a zoom blur. That makes it look like I'm zooming in and everything's blurring out and everything. And you can still use a mask effect to just do certain parts of the image. Or you can do things like a motion blur and blur uh, in like things are moving really fast. And what's nice is that uh, there's even just kind of a simple blur as well. But as you're making these adjustments, like this is doing the entire image and you can adjust it however you want. There's a plus symbol here where you can hit mask and you can just mask a certain section of the image that you want to affect with that blur. So that might be a really nice way if you're wanting to you know, blur a certain section, but there's also the invert mask button, which is really nice. You hit that invert mask button and you're able to flip it completely and blur everything else besides what you've selected. So all these tools are really nice to be able to blur anything in an image in Photoscape X. And I hope this video has been helpful for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.